From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord Who made heaven and earth The Lord will keep you from All evil He will keep your life The sun shall not strike you by day Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Brad. Mm-hmm. And I'm Krista. Big family homestead. Mm-hmm. Yep. What, what? Just came in from the barn. Holy smokes. And doggone it, don't you look good. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. They don't do that no. anymore. The kids. No. The kids these days, they don't They do not do that. No, it's all it's weird. Done. Don't get me started weird on talk. the twerking. It's I don't want to no, know. Oh. I don't want to know. I don't want to see it. Don't want to know. Don't anyway. want to think about it. Anyway, how are you folks doing tonight? How's everybody doing? Yeah. John E., I hope you're having a, a great evening. 
Apparently not. Uh, my employer was cyber hacked last Saturday. Oh, no. We've been locked out. Oh, man. Oh, this, we are no. talking about nerdy techie stuff today. But this is nerdy techie stuff that will affect you. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and I promise I am not making light of your situation. No. I'm saying that we try to bring up serious conversations mm-hmm. without scaring anybody. Sure. But looking at... What is it? What can we do? Can we do anything? Right. How do we prepare uh, to uh, be as best prepared as we can? Oh, sure. Yeah. So we, always, we have said for years, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Gunner. Nope. Palmetto, you're not late. We just started. Nope. Just started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Gunner. I, I am feeling a lot better. I spent most of the day down. I My doctor had actually, this is actually what precipitated the thought process of the cyber stuff. Okay. Um, because my doctor, I went to the doctor yesterday, changed my meds and holy mackerel. I was a loopy dude. Cause we do a, uh, a Bible Devo in the morning, Mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, read scripture, unpack it, talk about it, pray for each other. Done. Um, I was having a hard time staying awake. I was hallucinating almost. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, you were, you, it was, he went white as a ghost. I mean, the, just his face went super pale. Um, he was super dizzy and just not himself in any way. No, no, we were, we were close to going to the emergency room. I was monitoring his heart rate and his blood pressure and all that stuff, but everything, the levels were not too scary for me and... So yeah, my blood ox was only sixty seven percent. So that it was, was not. That was your. That I was know, your. I know. Your rate. Your heart rate. <laughs> no, but it started making me think about how all of these systems that we depend on mm-hmm. are interconnected. Yep. And I know there's a lot of people in our audience who um, have medicines that you need that you you have to have. Well, I'm here to tell you, folks, cyber attacks affect it all, all of it. Yeah. It's all interconnected. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk about that tonight because you may or may not be able to affect certain things in your life, but you may be able to affect other things. Mm -hmm. So I got to set the table first, though. We got to set the table so that you can kind of understand how this is a very, very important topic for everybody even if you're like i don't deal with computers i don't want to i don't even like my phone i still have a flip phone i still use a hand crank phone i still use the ones that well, you if get they're wa- if they have a flip phone they're not watching us so i don't know or, or a computer they're not watching us yeah because <laughs> you know everybody who's watching either has a smart device in their hand a tablet or a computer right now or yeah, they're watching and it on has their, internet or on their phone or their TV. Right, right. Yeah. So, but here's the thing: I do ask a, a, a teensy weensy request. Please hit that thumbs up mm-hmm. right now because it does send the algorithm, the mm-hmm. stuff, and the things so that it does let people know yep. that we're live and um, that we're having fun. So, make any kind of comment at all. Like, you look goofy, and I'll be like, thanks. But make any kind of comment because that helps the algorithm too. Mm-hmm. So. Here is the scoop. Let me set the table. Now, please understand, we're not trying to to scare anybody, but these realities are in our face now. Right. These are things that we all need to know. And yes, we need to know them, but we don't need to be afraid of it. No. Because at the end of the day, a lot of this is stuff that you don't have control over, but we really want to get to the stuff that you can Mm -hmm. affect more positively, t- positively right. for yourselves. Right. So let's just assume for a sec here that, <laughs> well, let me back up. We watched the Monkey Works channel, mm-hmm. great channel to watch, preparedness, yep. troop movements, the whole nine, right? Well, uh, he in part of his segment, he will go over the cyber events, the cyber attack events, that are happening on our country, and they're getting ramped up in crazy numbers. Wow. Crazy numbers. A few days ago, it was 157 million. It was 197 million. And and 
Do you think that that might be kind of coinciding with all these funny craziness that's going on with the banks? Oh, yeah. How, how about that? Just a possibility. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have a crystal ball. Right. But I will say this, that when you notice really, really um, big disruptions in your internet, things going here and there, and, and it worked just a second ago, and now all of a sudden the TV doesn't work or this doesn't work, I got to tell you, a lot of that has to do with the fact that those network engineers in all these big places are doing the double time trying to keep things up because they are mm -hmm. getting hammered. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think that it's going to actually um, slow down anytime soon. It doesn't, I mean, look, guys, you got Russia, you got China. Let's make no mistake. They, our side has people that that's all they do. That's their entire job is they look for weaknesses in other countries' systems as well. But it just so happens that those other countries, boy, it seems like they were early investors in that tech and they are really, really hammering us. <laughs> yeah. So here, oh let's set the table. Let's just assume that they had ways to get into the banking systems and or power grid. That's that one's the one that kind of makes you go, well, if there's no power, then you can't buy things and sell things largely because most people don't have cash on hand. No, no. Everybody uses their credit card, their debit card, you know, largely. or their phone. That's weird, man. That Bleep. that I, is that is so wacky. How many I, of you guys do that? I don't do that. I will never do that. It's not even set up in my phone, not in any way. So, so no. no. No electric means no sanitation. Right. That's a fun one. Mm-hmm. Where's Say all the dookie going to go? Say it with me. Tijuana two-step. That's what's coming next. <laughs> yeah. So you can't buy and sell things largely unless you have right. cash. Mm-hmm. And you're assuming that people will still take cash. Do you guys remember what was that hurricane that went up the coast? Uh, it was a, uh, probably about ten years ago. Hit New York City, flooded everything out really bad. Remember I that don't. One? Yeah, I do remember that. I don't remember the name of it. I saw a video recently of people standing on the streets with offering hundred dollar bills just so that they could get McDonald's, a bag of McDonald's. And nobody was taking it. Not even the McDonald's were taking it because they're like, we, we don't have a way to take it. Right. Oh, my. That, that ought to be a little bit of a some, that, something, something. That's got to be a, an awakening to to most folks who, you know, when – and you can't just prepare for the zombies or, you know, the, the – there's so many things that – that you have to, it was Ivan. I think you're correct. Yeah. MJ. Um, there's you. so many things that, that are, that could go wrong in your life. Your spouse gets sick or loses their job or, uh, you know, you have to move or, or whatever. I mean, there are lots of things See? that you have to prepare for. I don't remember which Katrina one it was. Katrina was down South. Yeah. I know Ivan was... came and hit us in, when we lived in Ohio, we had that big tree down. Remember at the yeah. parsonage? Well, here's the scoop. It doesn't really matter what the name of the hurricane was. You get the no, point. right. So if if you can't buy and sell, I mean, here's another thought. Do you guys remember um, that Iranian nuclear, uh, was it, it was some kind of enrichment facility that the Stuxnet virus hit and turned all their centrifuges off? I don't know this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was wow. a big deal. It was a big deal. Not This was not recent. But, you know, there might have been people we knew and liked that were involved at the time, and they had a vested interest in making sure that those centrifuges did not continue to make fissile material <laughs> because they kind of wanted to, you know, keep living. Yeah, yeah, kind of. And so, huh, with computers... They were able to shut down a completely locked down facility's centrifuges. Huh. Hmm. That was a while ago. They must have had their passwords saved on their computer. That's what it was probably on the bottom of the mouse. They, they keep the password down there. 
some guy. That's really funny. I his... never thought that would be a place to put a password. No. That is so dumb. I'm making it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm making oh it up. Oh, my goodness. I'm just making it uh... up. So here, here's the scoop. If things went haywire and they most certainly are ramping up, that's not even up for debate. You can just look at the numbers and see that that is an actual data point that is growing. The cyber attacks on the United States infrastructure are growing. Hmm. So how do we mitigate? Because there's no way that we're going to be able to really, you know, we can't, we can't, you know, call up Pooty Poot over there in that place with the uh, the angry people that are fighting the stuff and the things. Can't call them up and be like, hey, Tuck it can, off. You, can you knock it off? <laughs> I'm trying to watch Seinfeld. What? What are you doing? <laughs> some some guy over there too. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. The tickety talks. They they um hmm. Those people. Can you please just knock it off? How about you stay in your corner? You stay in your corner. We'll stay right over here. Never happens that way, though. Oh, my goodness. Never happens that way. No. Mm -mm. So, largely, a lot of the things that we talk about in terms of preparedness, emergency preparedness, is um, going to be the same things that you would prepare for in terms of a cyber event. Because they're going to have the same ultimate outcome. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Because if you can't buy food, well, then you're going to kind of need food. <laughs> kind of. If you don't have water, you're going to need to be able to get water and filter it. Yeah. That's a that's right? a luxury. Water's a luxury. You don't need water. Pshaw. Just eat crickets. We're not allowed to say um, the ginormous do-over anymore. That's, that's naughty words on, on the YT. So if you're ever going to say something like that, because I felt it coming. Oh, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying that if you want to, you got to speak in code. Just an innocent bystander. Speak in code. <laughs> speak in code. Okay. All right. So let's talk about what could you really do right now to mitigate that kind of an event. Let's, let's not, you know what, let's not even talk about macro level event. Let's talk about micro level event. How many of you guys here have had your bank account hacked or credit card hacked? And if you if you have, how many times in the last, say, five years? Have you? And how many? Because we have. Six. Six or seven. Yeah. And generally, what happens? Uh, the bank refunds our money and then it's... No more. We don't have to. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Well, where's that money go? No idea. They just forgive it. Just yeah. No. No insurance pays for insurance it. Insurance pays for it. Right. But then, but then, what happens if there's lots and lots of insurance claims? Ooh. They don't get paid. The banks will just mm -hmm. nickel and dime you in other ways to offset the whole thing. That's what they do. Oh my goodness. They don't they don't go, well, that stinks. We lost another half million dollars this month. I'm yeah. talking your local bank. Your local banks, yeah. That that's uh that's gonna it's gonna add up. They don't just and go, then whoopsie. That, my and bad. That they're gonna start pushing off those costs to you or the bank is gonna close with your money in it. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Wyoming Homesteader. They have not, but they investigate it daily. Yep, we ha you have to keep on track on top of it, especially well, if you use a credit card online or yeah. your debit card online. Okay, so things you can do for the micro level, mm -hmm. macro level. If if a bank collapses, what are you going to do? You, you're going to hope that you had under the amount of insurable mm -hmm. money. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. If you have you know a couple million dollars in the bank, uh, you're not getting all of that back. Gunner is correct, and I know that uh, I know that he knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about cyber stuff here, when he makes a comment, I'm telling you people pay attention. Yeah. 
Yeah. Listen to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Two factor authentication. And I hate it. But I hate it it too. It's such a pain. But it works. Yeah. It works for now. I should say it works for now. Yeah. Change your passwords a lot. Yeah. Here's here's a little here's a little trick that I that I do. I don't ever use a password that is easy. Never. Mm-hmm. Ever. No. Have we learned nothing from the movie Spaceballs? The password was one, two, three, four. Forgot about that. He goes, This is a kind of a password an idiot has on his luggage. <laughs> Oh my! Don't use easy passwords. No, not no. that it can really. It can help some. It can help like the, the local thieves, they, so that they it'll be really hard for them to get in. Right, right. Well, and who thinks to use that password? You know, that's that's the you know if you use that password, who what thief is going to think that you actually use that password? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I started doing, guys. You're going to love this. You're going to think this is this is the if if Brad was a gambling man which I don't, but if I was, I had a friend who used to. He did the online gambling thing. Oh, yeah. And he would bet on sports teams, and I started telling him the teams that were going to win, and he was getting madder and madder because he's been watching sports his whole life. And and he goes, how are you doing this? You've got like 65 70% wins just pretty much all the time. And I said, well, he, he, he knows I don't know anything about it. Right. And, he, and, yeah, you're not a sports guy except for soccer. No. You don't give a, you don't give a, I just don't. a hoot he about goes, anything else. How are you doing this? I said, well, it's really easy, okay? This is what you do. Um, if, if say, the, the Dolphins are playing the Patriots, mm-hmm. it's super easy. Mm-hmm. The Patriots win every time. Every time. And he goes, well, how do you know that? You don't watch football. I was like... Well, a Patriot has a gun and the Dolphin's a fish. Of course it's going to win. You pick the mascots. It's not a fish. It's a mammal. Sure. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. But you get the point. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how he would, you know, and, gauge and who wins. And 75, 70% of the time. So he started taking my system and uh-huh. he was winning more. So who was who was playing in the Super Bowl this past Super Bowl? It was the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. And Was it an eagle? I think it was the Philadelphia Eagles question. I don't know. Help me out here, folks. I know the Chiefs won. Yeah. But if that's, well, that's the case. That's what, it's Chief versus an Eagle. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No, the Chiefs, Chiefs going to win. And they did. Yeah. So. But. So here's here's the methodology on on the uh, that way of looking at passwords. Make crazy shapes on oh, your keyboard. So you're, giving, you're giving it away. You're giving, it, you're giving our secret away. They're never going to guess no, the shapes. I know. I know. But you just go. You just make skip, random skip, shapes. Skip, 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 skip. Always use a space bar. But yeah. But you can't, you can't use Not a space the bar one. as the first one for right. most places. Right. Yeah. Gosh. Crazy funny. big long Chiefs shape, and eagles. Long shapes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See? It works. Anyway, that's a good one. I'm seeing he's given a lot of great advice. Yeah. Don't use the same password, yes. Right. Absolutely. Um, let me see. What else is he saying? My password memory system is Bitwarden. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, um, I've heard of that one. I would, I would also recommend that if you do not have and use a VPN. Do it. You do it. You mm-hmm. look it up. We're not affiliated with one. We don't make money off of one. We're nope. just saying... Hey, guess what? Good idea to have your info bounce around a bunch of places before um, it comes in or out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that uh, there will be recommendations. If you guys use a a VPN that you like, make a recommendation. Yeah. Now, um, in terms of macro stuff, if there was a macro situation... Grids down. This is going to be Prepper 101. What's the very first thing that you know we're going to say that you got to have on hand, guys? Lots and lots of it. And before it actually happens. Yeah, not after. Not after. Then you're, you're hosed after Jim that. Jimboola Blade Works. Don't use that password. No. No. 
Uh, it's just like hackery code. Oh. I would object to the VPN to an extent. Mm -hmm. I am interested to hear what you have to say because I know he knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know he knows. We use a VPN for our kids. It's actually a great program. Yeah, it's called Kids Locks and um, K I D S L O X. And it actually prevents them from seeing things that are inappropriate. And it also sets up customizable times. Mm -hmm. For yep. what they can use, how they can use it, where they can go. Exactly. So it, you know, say they get two hours a day of screen time. Once that's done, then um, certain apps can be uh, locked down for the lockdown mode, um, and certain apps are still available. So most um, most of the apps are turned off, even when it's in child mode. I can still turn off certain apps, um, and it's it's a great it's a great program. Um, it is for you. You can pay for it monthly, or you can pay for a lifetime, which we did, and it was I think eighty five dollars for a lifetime up to ten devices. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's been great, awesome for the kids. So good good call. But yeah. I want to get back to. I was the one that got us distracted. Yes. It, First macro shock. preparedness item is Yahtzee. You guys got it. You got it. Uh -huh. Water. Yep. And um, what's the basic rule for preparedness on terms of how many things you should have? Um, well, with tools. Um, what? Two is one and one is nine. That's what I was getting at. Oh. That's what I was getting at. I was trying to give her code because I thought she you were going somewhere else. I'm no. Like, I'm, I'm down there doing this. Yeah. I was also like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. No, two is one and one is none. Yeah. So if you have two and one breaks, you have another one. Gotcha. If you have one and one breaks, you're out of luck. But I got a better, I've got a better rule than that. Start there mm -hmm. and then figure out a resupply. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, inside it's, joke. It's not an inside joke because well, we shared it. We did but. share it, but these not today. One is none. Mm-hmm. Yep. 21 so is a, a heck, heck of a lot, lot better. better. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> Atomic frijole. That's funny. That's yeah, funny. Cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah, two is one and one is none. If you think about... There's an easy way to think about this. Just walk around your house, walk around your property... Do you have the ability to live without electricity for a day, a week, yeah. a month? Yeah, <gasps> that might be a, that might be actually a great uh, training shut it off weekend. training tool. Shut it off weekend. Well, maybe yeah, just shut it off for a twenty four hour period. All of it. All of it. Just shut it off at the main breaker wherever your box is. Just shut the main breaker off, and see. What you actually use for electricity, you will be shocked at what you take advantage take for granted. Yeah, honestly, you just you walk into a room, or mm -hmm. it's warm, or yeah. it's cool. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing: you would I, I let's back up here. Make sure that your refrigerators are plugged in. Maybe put a lock on them. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, just kind of put a bungee around it or something. Yeah, lock those yeah, down. But because you're not gonna. You don't want all your food to run. No, that well, no, that yeah, that is true. I mean, okay, maybe not twenty four hours. Maybe no, maybe three or four hours. No, ma'am. I'm saying the entire weekend just okay. just close that fridge so you cannot open it. Okay. Or, I mean, if you've got more willpower than I do, then it wouldn't be a problem. That's true. I'd be in there sneaking a Nah, I wouldn't. No, it's the kids standing there with the door open. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, looking for something. Ugh. And then they that walk dries. over to get a plate with it open. With it left open. Oh, that drives me insane. They don't change the... They don't... Yeah, they're kids. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. I just heard some clanging downstairs. Who knows what's I think going it's, on. I, I, well, I made, I made bread this afternoon or this evening... And it was time for it to be baked, and I couldn't wait until we were done here. So I said, okay, I'm going to put this in the oven, Caleb. you got to take it out. So it sounded like the pan drop. Okay. So hopefully the bread I'm was sorry. already out of it. 
Yes. Okay. So here's the scoop. Water, obviously, number one. Now this is ones you're probably gonna think I'm I'm crazy. I would I used to say that food would be the next one and shelter and the normal stuff. I've added an addendum to that list, and that is people who need medicine for mm-hmm. life. Yeah. To live. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think I still think the water, the clean water, the re, the replenishable water, that is really, really still my number one. Meds, it's going to take you a little bit longer to run through what you got, but how are you going to resupply? Here's This is a temporary solution that we've actually talked mm-hmm. about in the past, and I'm going to let you talk about that, but then let's talk about resupply. Resupply... Uh, go to Chase Medical. Jace. Jace Medical, not Chase Medical. You're right. Uh, Jace Medical. J A S E. Um, they have they have those life saving medications. Well, they have legal ways. Legal to Legal ways them. to go through it. You actually start a consult consultation with an actual doctor, and it is um, they are licensed in your state. Um, Every the, state, I think. Well, yes. That yes, they yeah. Um, however, it insurance doesn't pay for it. You have to pay yeah. for it out of pocket. Um, I do remember that to get their uh, antibiotic uh, kit for one person, I think it was two hundred and seventy dollars. I think I'm not exactly sure. I haven't looked at it in a couple of months, but um, but yeah. Point being, if you need life saving meds, mm-hmm. you might want to look into having a little more than, say, just the last few days you have. Right, right. Say, you know, if you've had to take medication or antibiotics before and you don't quite take them all and you save those, you know, four or five, those four or five pills are not going to cut it if you have to have. No. Um, if you have to have antibiotics. Yes. Yeah. So look into Jace Medical for yourselves. Mm-hmm. We're not doctors. This is not medical advice. No, We're just, just saying, to, hey, yep. this is us talking to right, you, friends. Right, right, right. And, of course, uh, Me Too says books to teach skills to make things forage and how to use medicinal plants, etc. That's, that's where I was going that's next. That's exactly what we were going to go to next. Um, those things are definitely way – those are very high on the list. Really high on the list. Yeah, the resupply. That's mm-hmm. the big deal because w- the um, I've heard different um, answers when it comes to if the power grid was seriously damaged mm-hmm. as to how long would it be till they got it back up. I've heard anywhere from five months to years. Yeah. And the reason for that is because a lot of the stuff that our infrastructure is made of isn't made here. Imagine that. Is not made here. And I'm sure that there would be a lot of pressure on companies that are, you know, elsewhere to not sell us stuff or to drag your heels or to, uh, you know, just not make Didn't it available. Didn't we already have that issue this these last three years with things not being, you know, resupplied? resupplied? I know there was a huge yeah. issue with uh, with cars and trucks. The chips were not available. Hmm. Where are those made? Not, not here. here. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brian's saying one to three years. I know it's a long time, yeah. folks. So yeah. this is why the resupply plan is really important. Now, I understand there are people that the medicines that you need, you have to get it from... A pharmacy. Mm-hmm. I understand that, but there's a lot of natural uh, remedies mm-hmm. that you can find, forage, grow, mm-hmm. create tinctures, mm-hmm. all kinds of different things for a lot of the basics mm-hmm. s- stuff. Yes, that you should be learning now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Don't just get those books. Actually, start implementing the things that are in those books. Doing them. Asian beetle biting me. There's Asian beetles. They're attacking. They're everywhere. They're up on the roof. Right now, you can't see them. They're crawling all over the screen. It's insane. Every so often, yeah. cr- one will crawl across. The- <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we have to get the vacuum out and vacuum them up every few days because it's starting to warm up here. So they're starting to wake up. 
So, but Yay. yeah, no, get these herbal books. Dr. Christopher's has one. There's um, the the Lost. What is it? The Lost Ways. Is that the name of that book? That you're on your own there. That sister. was the one. The one that Dad gave us. It's oh, called yeah, The Lost yeah, Ways. Yeah, yeah. That was that's a great that's yeah. a great resource. Um, there's one on foraging. <laughs> it was it was that bug there. Is. I know. I yeah. Either that or else your Tourette's is kicking back in. I ran out of my med. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have Tourette's, guys. <laughs> it's been a long time but... since she's had a flare up. <laughs> We're gonna need the duct tape and some bubble gum stat. <laughs> Anyway, I don't even know what that means. I don't either. It's a MacGyver thing. I probably. I cannot be responsible. The lost for the words ways coming out of my own mouth. I know you can't. I know that bug is on my mixer. That's a problem. Flick it. Oh, thank you. Oh man, don't touch the mixer. No, they're not ladybugs, folks. No, they're not ladybugs. They're they Asian were, beetles. They're an invasive species. They are an invasive. Here. Yes, they were brought here. I'm not exactly sure why they were brought here, but the DNR brought them here, and they are everywhere. And you can't get rid of them. You can't get rid of them. All right. So meds, I think we've harped on the meds thing. Yes. But really, 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 really. I, I thought I saw somebody saying that they're starting a medical garden this year. Oh, That's perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. A medicinal garden. Medicinal, medicinal garden. Yes. Yeah, that that's probably going to need to be on our um, to do list. To do list. Yep. Um, take a couple of those raised beds and just put a bunch of the herbs in it. Okay, so. now we finally come to food. You guys know what we think about food. Mm -hmm. Lots of it. At yeah. least I would I wouldn't even consider six months. I'd say a minimum of year mm -hmm. um, per plus, person. Plus a way to resupply. That's where mm -hmm. I was going. Yep. Um, Folks, if you guys are looking at the chat, the books that Amy Low Carb Prepper is putting up, please write those down. All mm -hmm. of those are awesome books. Um, I, I don't have all of those, but I've got quite a few of those. Um, off the wall city prep, or off the wall yeah. prepping. Yes, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. I, I harp on that one, and mm -hmm. I harp on right here. Eyeballs. Yep. Eyeballs. Get your teeth mm -hmm. looked at. If you need to get a a, a, a tooth pulled, do it now. Yeah. Unless yeah. you've got, you know, you're married to a dentist or <laughs> I still wouldn't want to do it with all the proper stuff. But no. mm -mm. A, a dentist, your teeth, think about that last time that you had a bad tooth problem. Would you want to have to basically take care of that yourself? No. No, I had a tooth go bad um, and they took it out right in the office and it, I was, I had a lot of anxiety and I was, I was pretty scared. Um, but I also had, okay, this is going to sound really strange and, uh, voodoo doctor ish. Cause this is what I heard from our, we lovingly call her our voodoo doctor, even though she's really not, um, our naturopathy doctor. She said, when you have, um, a pain in your mouth, in your teeth, like you have a bad tooth, you're going to have pain in your hands, in your thumbs Oop, right over here. Yep. Right over here. Yep. And I did. I did. And I still do sometimes. Um, but I think it's now it's just arthritis building up. But yeah, when you have a bad tooth, you have a lot of pain in that in that joint in your thumbs. Yep. So. Eyeballs. I don't know. It could be hooey. Could be something to it. I don't know. But pay attention to your body. Eyeballs. Mm -hmm. If you don't know Zenny Optical, they're cheap. Glasses. Yeah. Again, not getting paid by them. We just we right. have used them. Uh, these are Zenny. Yeah, we've used them for the last several years, um, and can get really, really inexpensive glasses. Um, you can even go to Walmart for an eye exam. Mm -hmm. They don't like it when you say, "I'm just here to get the eye exam." I usually don't tell them until we're paying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need a copy of that prescription, can please. I get a copy of that, please. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure that's happening a lot more now that these online. Um, yeah. eyeglass places and you can buy several several of them and so we got my glasses i can't remember exactly mm -hmm. how much yours were but mine were the progressive bifocals and they were 90 dollars with the frames and the lenses yeah so that's honestly really really cheap yeah we one time i i was a um a, a 
a music minister at a church, mm -hmm. and the there was an optometrist that went to the church and brought the. Uh, she said, "You you need a eye exam. I know you do. I can see you struggling reading the music." Yeah, yeah. And I said, "Yeah, um, don't worry about it, hon." Oh, okay. But she she brought me in, and then she said, "Okay, um, I just want to gift you some glasses." And I said, "Okay, well, thank you very very much." I, and I said, well, she said, what are you, what are you interested in? I, I just want the ones that look like the military glasses, you know, like the, the cheapest, nerdiest glasses that you have. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to look all that. I just, I just want these kind of glasses. Little did I know that these were Nike glasses mm -hmm. at twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, they I were had insane. No idea they yeah. were so much money. I would never have received that no. as a mm -mm. gift. No. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, no, it was crazy. And they were middle of the road? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought I was just getting the cheapest ones. Mm -mm. No. Uh, uh, uh. So here's the deal, guys. Um, cyber threats are real. Um, it's a scary thing to think that if, if the power grid went down, I think that's probably my biggest one. Because money in banks, if you're if you're... Poor like us, anything is going to be insurable unless it's completely down, and then mm -hmm. then we've got all got we've all got bigger fish to fry. Sure, then sure. Let's just suggest that you have some, you know, ways to protect your family, and um, you are you are trained first. Mm -hmm. That I cannot stress enough, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, if you're gonna have the tools. Get trained before, before you even get one. Right, right. Don't even get the tools unless you're going to be trained in advance. Mm -hmm. And then safety, have ways to lock everything up, the yeah. whole nine. Yep. Don't, e don't take chances like that. Right. Don't take chances like that. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Cranet Dreams, how many planes in the sky fall during an EMP? Well, I just heard a statistic on that. All of them will fall. Yeah. That are in the sky. Pretty much. Yeah. The estimates are over 200,000 people would probably, mm -hmm. depending on the time of the day, mm -hmm. would uh, just be on a one-way ticket to see Jesus. Well, that's, yeah. A lot faster than they had planned. Well, yeah, yes, yes. Yes. Here's another thing. Here's another thought to think. We love our all-in-one solar doohickeys. Mm -hmm. You know, we even did a video on one this morning, and uh, it's actually a really cool one. I really like it. A little noisy, but I like it. Mm -hmm. It even has a handle. It's cool. You can drag it around. It's, it's like cool. a cooler. I mean, it's it's an on like wheels and yeah, a big. But they're not going to work. Nope. They're not going to work if there was an EMP. Mm -hmm. None of it's going to work. So even if you have solar, do you have the essential components put into a, a homemade Faraday cage? Yes. Because if you don't, it ain't going to work. Right. Right. You could have your PV panels, pho photovoltaic panels. Because those don't have a chip in them. Well, they don't. Yeah, that's what I said. No. Yeah, they don't have a chip in them. So. But what are you going to plug it into? How are you going to right. charge you gotta, controller? You got to keep you gonna... your. You got to keep your box in a in a faraday cage or a second box or a third mm -hmm. box yeah yeah good call one second yeah after. one second mm -hmm. after is a an excellent yeah. book uh starfish prime nope never heard of it no however we uh maintained is the the deep south as a priority 48 hours without ac and people will be <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. so wow the reality, guys, honestly, I, this is the biggest takeaway that I want you to think. Can I live without electricity for a month or longer? And if the answer is no, then you're not ready for a real cyber grid attack right. down set up. Right. You're just not. Right. For us, it would be uncomfortable, but we could do it. Yeah, we could do it. Yeah. You know? So there's the question. Now, again, this is not to scare anybody or just walk around your, your house. Take notes. 
shut the power off and take notes. That's a good point. What are you what is what what do you absolutely have to have power for? Yeah. Water. Keep your food warm some, or cold. Yeah. Some homes know? if you're if you're on a different ways of getting the water. Mm-hmm. Think about it like this. Even if it's like if it was an EMP situation, water's not coming to your house. No. If you're in the city, it's pumped to you. Those pumps use electricity. Yep. They're not getting it's not com- getting to you. It's not coming. Mm-mm. The only kind of pump that would work is Mhm. Yep. Yep. Or if you have a generator and you can plug it into your well pump. Mhm. Yep. Annette is asking how big are Faraday boxes? They're as big as you want them to be. Yep. Um it's called Faraday cage and what it does without getting too scientific is it allows that electromagnetic radiation to go around that device and, and down into the ground. Dissipate into the earth. Mhm. Okay, now you can make homemade ones. We have, and but there's a lot of things that you really need to consider. If you do have, I've seen people turn their garages into Faraday cages. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean that's above my pay grade. That's mm-hmm. that's above my pay grade because yeah. there's certain there's certain diameters you need to have, but you can build an easy one. It's just the right kind of trash can with the right kind of grounding. But anything that's in it needs to be not touching it. Right. You have to have some insulation around or on the inside of that trash can, that, that metal trash can, uh, cardboard, insulation board, but anything rubber. that's so, rubber, anything that so those items that are in there won't be touching the sides. Yeah. So if it's touching the sides, it's it's going to it's going to be it fried. Uh, yeah, it fried. fried. Mm-hmm. It, it gone. <laughs> it gone. <laughs> But Funny. there's there's plenty of people that are smarter than I am when it comes to the science of a Faraday cage. Mm-hmm. Um, I just know how to, to to look at the guy that is smarter, look at his stats, check his stats, make sure that he's not fibbing me, and then copy it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then copy it. Mm-hmm. So Marie Callender's survival macaroni pies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, Sue would uh, read that comment there. Friends had a house in Houston when a major power outage hit. Sewage was backing up through their toilets like a ooh, fondue pot. Nice imagery there. Tyler yeah, um, nice makes me imagery. never want to have fondue again. Yes. Wow. You can I, purchase Faraday fabric. I did not know that. I did not know that either. I will be researching that right after we get yes. off this live stream. Right. Which is very soon, by the way. Yes. Oh, a small Faraday cages you can make with an ammo can. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I've only made big ones. Yep. We've only (laughs) used like the 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 metal trash cans that you can get from the store. But they have to be the right kind of metal. Mm -hmm. Steel. Do your your, your due diligence. Check it out. Yep. So our condo doesn't even do fire drills. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Oof. Starfish Prime was a 1.5 megaton high altitude atomic oh, test. Wow. It created an EMP that scared them from further testing. Wow. From the Johnson Atoll. Atoll in 1960s. Wow. Wow is right. You know, I will say when it comes to this kind of talk, um, there are goofy things to put in a Faraday cage. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, if you think that you're going to be making phone calls right after a grid down situation, who are you going to call? Right. And don't say Ghostbusters. I, I feel people typing already. I can feel it. Who are you going to call? Who are you call? Ghostbusters. I mean, you can put one in there. Um, but that's that for if, when everything's that, back. No, that is if you have, well, yes, everything is, if everything's back in one to three years. Um, no, if you will have music stored on it. Or books. Or books stored on it. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, you should have actual copies of books um, and nothing on a, you know, on a computer that is super important. Print stuff out if you can. Yep. (laughs) Hard copies are the way to go. Faraday Garage. Would you have to have the floor raised for an installation? Yes, you do, Renee. Because it has to be completely encapsulated. Mm Mm-hmm. 
It has to be completely encapsulated. Don't put Twinkies in the Faraday cage. No. Why? They're going to be fine. It's like a Big Mac. They don't ever degrade. Right. Oh, yeah. Amy says a satellite phone. You could probably. But who are you going to call? Yeah. Unless you know somebody who has another no, satellite phone. No, it still won't matter because because all of the circuitry to make those connections go. To the satellites? Oh, to so the satellite. Yeah. That Okay. I was thinking cell phone. Sorry. No, satellite. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. I, I don't know. I. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm assuming that would work, yeah. maybe? Ham radios, um, that would be something that you should put in there so that you can communicate with. If somebody else put one in a Faraday cage. If somebody else had one in a Faraday cage. Exactly. Otherwise, who are you going to call? Go. Ghostbusters. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, CB radio would be great, but, you know, it's only, only if, if somebody, somebody has it. <laughs> Right, you have to you have to have a community so that you can be able to communicate with those in your community. When you get one, I'll call you. <laughs> right, sure. <laughs> so everybody needs to rush out right now and get a ham radio today and put one in a Faraday cage, and then we can still have live streams after the zombies come. Okay, time out. Quick question though: Ham radios go through what kind of? They go through antennas. How yeah. how do ham radios work? Because I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's it's a, it's basically. A radio station and receiving station that they're different frequencies, different frequencies bands, but you do have to have a specialized device that is a transmitter and receiver okay. and antenna. Okay. But is it going to say another antenna somewhere else and then relaying to another? There's more to it than that, but yes is the short answer. Okay. They can talk one to one if you've got a big enough right, radio. Right, right. And but a big there antenna. are relay stations that that will daisy chain things. Okay, so and there's other ways that it can work too, where you can bounce the signals off of the atmosphere, mm, and you can. That's how okay. they get around um, uh, going long distances, even overseas. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and that's I, I've actually gotten the book to get my ham radio license. I just haven't taken the test yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the main thing that we wanted to convey mm -hmm. is walk around your house, mm -hmm. look at what you got, turn the power off. Mm -hmm. Could you could you live for a weekend? <laughs> yeah. A week? A month? There's the question. A year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks, we're telling you this because we want you to do well. Yep. So. Yeah. That said... Have an awesome and blessed mm -hmm. night. I'm uh, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have a... Blessed and amazing day. Excuse me. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Death.